this document has been deemed classified by the board. All personnel viewing it must have at least level 3 security access. Any information presented inside the following document must be pre-approved before knowledge of it is given to any lower level staff. Item number AEP-173 Object Class Oriens Threat Classification COG-02 Containment Protocols AEP-173 is to be kept in a 20 cm by 20 cm by 20 cm steel containment box with no internal visibility from the outside and should be kept in a dark containment cell. The box should have a remote controlled lid that should be left closed unless approved to be opened for personnel treatment or a termination attempt of an AEP. No important sapient creatures should come into contact with AEP-173 without permission and a written reason from at least one level 3 personnel. Any unauthorized visual or physical exposure to AEP-173 will result in immediate termination by ASF. Additionally, no prisms, mirrors, or cubical semi-translucent objects are to be brought into the containment cell to avoid confusion and ensure safety. AEP-173 can be used to cure personnel diagnosed with schizophrenia. Personnel receiving this treatment must be approved by a member of personnel with level 3 security access and are to be accompanied by an informed member of ASF. The personnel in question should be interviewed prior to the treatment for comparison afterward. Personnel being treated by AEP-173 must be in visual contact with the AEP-173 for no longer than 5 minutes and no shorter than 4 minutes 45 seconds and must not physically contact AEP-173 at any time. After exposure to AEP-173, the member of personnel is to be escorted away from AEP-173 and interviewed. Description AEP-173 is a 19mm by 19mm by 19mm translucent cube with no coloration, with a small book inside titled How to be Normal for Those Who Aren't. In Mandarin Chinese, the book is stuck on the third page and fourth page, which contains the table of contents and a foreword from an unknown author. AEP-173 will, when viewed by a sapient life form through any means, will force them to continue viewing it. Testing shows that only an external force can stop this effect. After five minutes of visual exposure, viewers will begin to lose their creative capabilities and emotionally charged memories will be irretrievably erased. After 30 minutes of exposure to AEP-173, an ordinary person will begin to lose key points of their personality, such as mannerisms, and will have lost 100% of their creative capabilities. After 45 minutes of viewing AEP-173, the viewer hereafter referred to as AEP-173-1, will be completely devoid of all personality and thought, with nothing individualized about it, short of being AEP-173-1. AEP-173-1 will make no movement outside of breathing and blinking, and must be helped with other life functions or terminated. Means of viewing include videos, photographs, reflections, and perfect transcriptions of the book within AEP-173. AEP-173 is a cognito hazard, and all media of AEP-173 must be edited by the AEP Association to prevent its effects. This also applies if light is shined through it, causing it to shine a semi-translucent pale light that carries the same effects as AEP-173. This emission should be referred to as AEP-173-A if this occurs. Note. Memories erased include those of the association, which makes this object useful for erasing the memory of Class E personnel who cannot be promoted for various reasons. AEP-173 responds differently to creatures that have schizophrenia or similar features. If a creature with these symptoms views AEP-173 for a period of time between 4 minutes 45 seconds and 5 minutes, their symptoms will be cured, and all memories that resulted from or resulted to said symptoms will be erased from their memory, as if they had never existed. These effects have made it possible to treat personnel with a medical instability diagnosis, 
which makes AEP-173 useful to the AEP Association. However, if AEP-173 is viewed by a previously schizophrenic creature, they will suffer a loss of all highly emotional memories, not just ones relating to their schizophrenia, as well as a complete loss of creative thinking capability, despite this effect occurring later under normal circumstances. Despite numerous attempts to destroy AEP-173, any damage done to AEP-173 itself repairs no more than five minutes later, with no signs of previous damage. Any pieces kept away from the reforming AEP-173, now referred to as AEP-173-B, will violently explode into semi-translucent white shards that will teleport back to AEP-173 ten seconds after the explosion. These explosions have a lethal radius of 2 meters, and the shards travel a total of 4 meters before teleporting back to AEP-173 for self-repair. All attempts to retrieve the book to be referred to as AEP-173-C from inside of AEP-173 have failed, and all physical contact with AEP-173 have resulted in transformation into AEP-173-1. Whether or not AEP-173-C is what causes the anomalous effects of AEP-173 is unknown by the association. Recovery log. AEP-173 was discovered in a doctor's office by ART Quebec 7 Black Typhoon. In New York on 1970, AEP-173 was found on an aged doctor's desk, surrounded by three instances of AEP-173-1, one of which identified as Dr. Three members of Black Typhoon accidentally viewed AEP-173, and they were overtaken by the cognitohazardous anomalous effect of AEP-173. This led agent to infer its anomalous effects, who closed his eyes and took AEP-173 to on-site containment. Addendum. After further testing, it was discovered that the effects of AEP-173 work regardless of the light level of a room, yet is still to be left in a dark room to avoid instances of AEP-173-A from occurring. Value assessment. This object could be used to clear Class O personnel from the association, as well as treating schizophrenia-like symptoms in personnel.